And what he argues for is that the United States should develop its economy on three main pillars. One, the development of a well-regulated uh, public national debt. Two, the creation of a centralized banking system. And okay. three, direct public investment and regulation of the manufacturing industry. So it goes beyond merely just like tweaking around the edges. It's actually using the state as a means to develop an indus develop industries. The term that Hamilton uses is he calls it the means proper um, in his okay. reports. Um, and it's something that, uh, you know, that um, uh, Parenti argues that that phrase, the means proper, is something that every American should know just as well as we know, like we the people or, right. you know, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. We should know the means proper. It's very important. The other term that's used for it is dirigiste, which just means di more direct. The state plays a very central role in the development of an economy. Okay. Um, this would then develop into what in the 1820s was championed by U.S. Senator Henry Clay, who was Lincoln's biggest political influence. Um, so by virtue of that, Lincoln's largest political influence is really Hamilton because Clay's was Hamilton. And that was what w was called the American system. Um, and then eventually would be called the national system. Economies from Germany to Japan to Korea to today, Ch today's China have all followed the Hamilton blueprint of strong public investment in and development of industry and the economy through strong centralized institutions of banking, finance, and manufacturing.